My name is Thomas Vigier. I am currently an intern at the Supreme Court Chamber within the Extraordinary Chambers in the Courts of Cambodia. So now the Supreme Court Chamber is seized with an appeal proceeding in case number 201. And interns are given a wide range of tasks to do. Most of the time we do legal research, we draft documents, we do site checking, we attend appeal hearing, and generally speaking we do everything is required by our section in order to adjudicate the case. Here you're really given the opportunity to work with people who think differently from you because they don't have the same background as you. People coming from Europe will not necessarily think like people coming from the United States who of course will have a different way of thinking from African, from Asian. Personally I feel I'm learning a lot here um, because every case and this is not only true in front of this court, but in front of any international court. Every case raises new legal or factual issues that are not always clarified um, in the existing law. So this is the best way, in my, in my view, to expand really fast your knowledge and skills because you have to do a lot of research to compare existing laws, perhaps to elaborate on what exists. And I think I have already learned a lot uh, in my internship here. So I would recommend to any, anybody interested in seeing the work of a hybrid criminal tribunal to apply here at the Supreme Court Chamber in particular because the workload is rather demanding, it's huge, the deadlines are tight. However, I think there is no better place to learn really fast, to expand your knowledge, to get a valuable experience to put on your CV when they come to Cambodia, generally people speak about the tropical weather, um, the beautiful landscapes, ancient temples. I think they forget to speak about Cambodia, Cambodian people themselves. Um, Cambodian people are very nice, they are very friendly, they are very welcoming, they are so curious and open-minded. It's always very enriching to talk to Cambodian people because they have so much to share. They want to share their culture with you and at the same time they are always eager to learn something from your own country. I really hope that eventually the outcome of the work of this court will help the Cambodian society to close a dark chapter of its history and to move forward, to build a new future and I see that Cambodian people are already really committed in um, building this brighter future together.